So here's a good look at all the engine bolts on the passenger side of the car. There are three bolts and one nut. So the first bolt is right there, just above this bracket that holds the wire harness. You can see it. So there's the first bolt. There's the second bolt. There's the third bolt in the foreground. And then behind it, you can see the nut that's on the, one of the long studs that come, uh, comes out of the engine. The top tilt bolt or whatever it's called, the top engine mount right there. And the two bottom nuts on either side. All right, so on the driver's side of the car, you have the following bolts. You have a bolt up there that goes through the starter, which isn't there right now, but goes through the starter flange, through the transmission, into the engine. Then you have uh, a bolt right there, an engine bolt, and that bottom stud gets a nut, but that's only to hold the starter on. Right now we're talking about engine bolts. So going from this second engine bolt, go down here, we look under the drive shaft, and there is a third engine bolt right there. And then finally, there's a stud in the engine, so there's simply a nut going around uh, this this engine stud, just like on the other side. So on this side, you have three bolts and one nut, and that includes the top starter bolt. In addition, you have a nut that goes on the stud, but that's just to hold the starter in. Okay, so those are all the engine bolts. Once you get rid of those, the top mounting bolt, and then then you just simply have this one lower uh, engine mount nut to take off and then the twin to that right over there and the engine can come out.